And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gangplank Plunder, our first deck of the day. Uh, coming back to Bilgewater, and we're going to be going with our, our Bilgewater tribal deck, you know, or our Legions deck, if you want to call it that, with our Yordle Grifters and, of course, all of our other good Bilgewater stuff, our merchant pilfer goods. We're going to be aggressive, though. As you can see, we have a lot of cards that cost zero and one mana. Um, and then whenever you get to two mana, you know, most of our deck cost zero, one, or two mana. Um, you know, we have our warding shots to do nexus damage, parlay doing nexus damage, jagged butcher and cutthroat getting that nexus damage in here. Of course, we can make it rain. We have the powder kegs to make our parlays and our make it rains better. Um, you know, ruthless raider has that overwhelm <clears throat> monkey idol making those powder monkeys doing nexus damage with those we are going to hopefully be leveling up our gangplanks and our sejuanis super fast with all of that nexus damage and then finishing the games out with our awesome leveled up champions which are going to be super strong we got one spicy fury of the north in here that works really well with our overwhelm threats like gangplank sejuani um even ruthless raider and can just finish out games against like a removal spell like they try to use a removal spell on um, something then we get to do the plus four plus four and of course we need the shark at the top end the cannon shark I guess we call it that the cannon shark riptide rex um, so here we go let's play some gang plank plunder first deck of the day played a similar kind of deck a couple of days ago but we're gonna be a little bit more aggressive now <clears throat> and we got a bunch more donation decks today, too. We got some fun ones. We got um, ones that we haven't played before. Vilux. Haven't played that. Uh, the Teemo Wayfinder. Um, if y'all have been watching for a few months, you may remember I used to love playing Teemo Wayfinder uh, a couple of months ago. So it'll be interesting to, to try out a new version of that. Um, and then Pirate Ezreal. The Pirate Ezreal is like a, a Twisted Ezreal deck, but no Twisted Fate. All right, these two are definitely gone. Um, Mega Rain could be okay. The thing about Mega Rain is it does just kind of kill... It kills, like, their little things that they don't mind dying anyway to level up their They Who Endure. But... So kind of have to kill the little things. Don't. No, don't have to butcher. Hmm. Have four mana next turn. Okay, yeah, having the... That makes sense, having... Oh, we got this turn one attack token. We need to focus on looking for uh, our one drops. Makes sense. Prioritize, prioritize those things. Swain Misfortune. Have I played Swain Misfortune? No. No, I can't say that I have. I suppose I could Vile Feast. Kill that 3-1. We can kind of start stacking these damage things together. I 
to try to take down Elise. Ooh. That's not good. That is not good. This was a time that the deckhand would have been better. You know, we got all this, we got all of our damage stuff. Deckhand would have been better here. Hey, what's up, high tech? Thanks for that resub. Doing great, doing great this morning. Okay, how are we going to deal with this? Is the question. So we're gonna have three, four, five. So they're likely playing Callista. Right? Open wide. Sure. Right, I need some new cards. Likely Callista. I also can't stop Callista. And I can't stop Elise. I mean, I hope not. I really hope it's not Callista. Because I can't stop it. Yay, no Callista. Must have been setting up for they who endure then, which is even worse. Can't stop that either. I rarely forget and never forget. Uh, we got a block. Oh wait, no no no, oh no, because then they they just vulnerable this thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad they didn't. Vulnerable that thing. Make it worth my while. Not my first gun fight. Oh, come on. You know, I have to just block one of the two and, and try to guess which one I'm going to hit with the other one. Hit the wrong one. I, I wanted to try to save the life. I know it was more more beneficial to do after combat, but I wanted to try to save the life. Like, we're, we're not at very much life. Over here. <clears throat> Escapes my watch. I am really glad they didn't have their 7 7 challenge my 0 1. Hmm. Why can't you be fast speed? Why are you so slow, Parley? Oh. 
All right, well, I got a little bit punished for waiting on the parlay. With that Bark Beast. I was kind of hoping they were going to play an Elisa's Crawling Sensation, right? Like, that's what I was kind of hoping they were going to do, is that they were going to play an Elisa's Crawling Sensation, then I'd kill their Elise. I need to draw Sejuani. There you are! Neither the flames nor the deaths can like, I only have four blockers. Oh my gosh, I can't play Fury of the North still? Oh, that's not good. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter that I can't play Fury of the North. That's, that's good. Never mind, I was thinking that I needed it for that, but it doesn't matter. Because I can't, I can't block both twos. Yeah, they got me. Why can't you block? I think we just got another donation, Zach. We did. Stroke Oklahoma. Been a while since you played a deep deck. Want to see your take on it? Hope doing like like this is okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. Um, if you want, you said you said you'd send a deck, but you don't have the cards. Um, I either I can. So yeah, I will make a deep deck. Yeah, they had a good hand. Better hand than I had that. You know, they had the, the turn two combo. And then Elise. Elise is strong. Um, and, you know, my hand was just too reactive. I should have... I guess I should have mulliganed more. My hand was just too reactive. Yeah, you can make it on Mobilitics if you would like. Um, if you'd like... If, you, if there's, like, a, a specific deep deck that you want me to play... Um, just make it on Mobilitics and send the, the link to the list. Otherwise, I will just put together a... Uh, I'll put together my best deep deck that I can. Otherwise. Such so, wanting misfortune. The... Huge turning point in that game was the um, was the Fury of the North that they had in response to that Bile Feast that dealt seven damage to me, kept that thing alive. That was a huge, huge turning point in that game. Fight or die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so I, I will build it for you then, Struck Oklahoma. Do you have a, a specific day that you would like me to play it by chance? Get bloody, get paid. I'm writing it down. Okay. The winter's claw. You got some fighting yet. Alright, so three health with the hired gun. We don't get to do any damage, so we don't get to trigger the enemy nexus this turn. Unfortunately, last game was the game that we needed deckhand, not hired gun. <laughs> this game, we'd probably rather have hired gun. It's not a very good deckhand game. Okay, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, I'm so jealous of all these Omen Hawks. My opponent's cards are going to be so big. So that turns on plunder for them this turn. And for me. No prey. Let's deal with a 5 5 misfortune. Gross. Beast. 
Yeah, yeah, we went, uh, yeah, we went 5 0 with the casino deck yesterday. It just got posted up on YouTube an hour ago. Where do I want to go this way? I had some kind of damage spell. Time to finish this. My thoughts exactly. I'm not sure. Gangplank's better than deckhand, deckhand, butcher. I think so, though. Safety. No. I'm jealous. <laughs> oh, why did I have to say something? Some kind of damage spell. It's like the worst one you could have. Uh, I had to say something. Today, don't be Richie. Hang them by their entrails. You dare slack on my ship. One good turn, eh, friend of I'll take my time. They're just taking all my steel cards because I think that was my I think that was my black market merchant that they took with the Yordle Grifter, and then just took our pilfer goods. Great into another taking a pilfer goods. This is fantastic. Right, so I think that one Yordle Grifter has been worth like five five more cards. They missed. I kind of, like, I want to play the Sejuani on offense. I know playing this means they get to, they get to challenge my powder keg. Danger pay. Ugh. But I can't do anything with that powder keg anyway.
Just so jealous, my opponent got to play three Omen Hawks and Black Market Merchant and three Pilfer Goods. Like, those cards, like, those cards are completely busted. I'm so jealous. You own what you take. Yeah, they missed their own foot money. Fight for your lives! Bow to no one. <laughs> Can't kill that black market merchant, can we? Wow. And then there's there's hits of my powder keg. I guess it doesn't really matter. There's hit the powder keg. Make it interesting, Tony. Does matter there's hit me. I am conceding. I have no cards in hand. They have they have a much better battlefield and six, seven cards. They have warning shots to go with their leveled up Sejuani. I have no chance. Alright, come on, give me a one drop. Alright, got a one drop. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Let's get to it. Yeah, basically, like, we just played a mirror match, but Misfortune, 5-5 five, five Misfortune, you know, better than 5-5 better than five, five Gangplank. You know, 3 man instead of 5 mana. Omenhawk is ridiculous. I don't know how many times I need to say that, but... It's pro like, Omenhawk's probably the best non-champion in the game, isn't it? Probably is. Okay, so I think we're just make it rain. That sounds sounds pretty good. Keeps this thing from being a 3-3. Three, three. We get to do damage to them on their turn. I wish we had four mana and we could play both black market merchants. That would be ideal. But we'll get one of them in here. But I guess you could also say that my opponent really won that game on the back of uh, Pilfer Goods and Black Market Merchant. Not Omen Hawk, but. I guess that's true, isn't it? I guess that's probably what I should. Yeah, I guess that's that's probably a better play. Y'all are right that I should have played should have played Monkey Idol last turn, and then this turn we'd have the Powder Monkey die, and we'd be able to play both Black Market Merchants. The thing I was worried about with that is I was worried about um, it's a good combination. I was worried that like they wouldn't have anything to attack with, or like, or they wouldn't attack into my Powder Monkey, so it wouldn't die until end, end of turn, and then I wouldn't actually play the Black Market Merchants. But I could have still just gone Yordle Grifter. What's that you got there? This is going to be a 3-3 first, but I'm still going to just block here, turn it into a 3-1, and then my sapling will take out the Bark Beast.
save that little bit of life. I could just have my sapling take out... Maybe I should have the sapling take out the monkey idol, because the monkey idol brings back the shark during their turn. Uh, I don't know of any place to see stats when you have a specific card in your opening hand. I don't think that that information is available. Not that I know of. Okay, yeah, it's it's more it makes more sense to take out the monkey idol than the bark beast. No, I, I can just have powder monkey block the bark beast, my their next attack step. This turn is going to be ridiculous. This turn is going to be ridiculous. So let's see, yeah, like, so the best Freljord card is Omen Hawk. Talk about non-champions. Best PNZ, Mystic Shot. Best Bilgewater. I'm not sure if you'd go Black Market Merchant or Pilfer Goods. It'd be one of these two. It's a hard, hard choice to make between the two. Um, yeah, like this, the cost one less with the Merchant is, is really good. It's a tough one to, to say which one. Um, let's see, Noxus, ugh, Noxus doesn't, what is the best Noxus card, Trifarian Assessor? No, Crimson Disciple, alright, Crimson Dis Disciples, Noxus, yeah, uh, let's see, what else, Demacia, Demacia is Warchefs? So I think these are all like one and two mana cards, as you can tell. Demacia is probably War Chefs. Um, you think it's on Yielding Spirit? Nah. I think it's either Fleet Feather Tracker or War Chefs. I think those are the, the top two. I like playing this on the offense, not on defense. Like, I don't like playing it this turn. Plus, like, we're going to get this Powder Monkey in here anyway. Um, Ionia. Shadow Assassin. I mean, yeah, Shadow it's Shadow Assassin by a mile in Ionia. Yeah. It's definitely Shadow Assassin. Um... No, Freljord's Omen Hawk by by a mile. Like, that's not close. They who endure is not close to Omen Hawk. Uh, let's see. You have they who endure in one deck, and yes, it's really powerful in that one deck. Omen Hawk's in every deck. Uh, what region did we not do? The Hecarim's gonna be tough. I will admit, the Sekrum is going to be tough. Yeah, you don't want to Darn. I was hoping to find 
something that killed Hecarim on their side. I don't know what, but... There are Demacia decks that don't use Warchefs or Fleetfoot. 99% of Demacia decks use Unyielding. Is that true? What about... I mean, even if you think about total copies... Like Warchefs and Fleet Feather Trackers are always 3 ofs. Unyielding Spirit is barely ever a 3 of. Can it really be the best card if it's barely ever a 3 of? If it's usually a 1 of? Doesn't sound like it. How am I killing this? I guess I'm going to be going Hecarim plus... Or I'm going to be going Yorl Grifter plus Sapling Toss to kill that thing. Should be casting Glimpse Beyond here, by the way. There's no reason not to be casting Glimpse Beyond. I just kind of clicked OK and then, and then realized that I should be casting Glimpse Beyond and I didn't have the opportunity to. But I should definitely be playing Glimpse Beyond right there. Fight or die. Ionia is, uh, Ionia is Shadow Assassin. Oh, oh, y'all are talking about what beats, uh, Unyielding Spirit, I gotcha. We haven't had a champion die. We haven't drawn a champion yet. I'm attacking out with everything. They can have the 2 3 block a 2 2, but then that will hopefully have me be able to use Mega Rain to kill the Soul Shepherd. Uh, Soul Shepherd seems like a really important card for them. I want to get that off the battlefield. What do I, okay, so I I need what? I need leveled up Sejuani, don't I? Or yeah, I need to draw Sejuani. Um, do it on this thing. I don't want to vile feast here. Give me a Sejuani. No. really have used a Sejuani. Frostbite everything. That would have been perfect. I'm gonna let my opponent attack. We're, we're dead. I'm gonna let my opponent attack. Hecarim's really cool. You get to that point, you deserve that attack. Shouldn't just concede in front of that. Hmm. Sometimes your steel cards don't don't help you out as much. You know, we got them to their, let them, you know, got them to their hecarums. 
couldn't find our top end cards. And we just had a, a bunch of small things. Just kept on drawing one and two mana cards. Do I mulligan everything? I just want to start more aggressively. Like, I want to get on the board. We have not been getting on the board fast enough. I mean, we did last game, but... Okay, got the cutthroat. Uh, I don't like the six or eight drop. Looks pretty ugly. We're we playing Monkey Idol. Oh, gosh. Uh, it's not great to play Monkey Idol against that. I just want this thing to block. Okay, that's a good card. Deckhand to go with the Mega Rain, that could be nice. Looking for trouble. It found you. Good card. <sighs> hmm. Yes, yeah, Ramping Wolf's better than Culling Strike in your Ash deck, but you should probably be playing Culling Strike over some something else, maybe over some spells or something. But yeah, I think you should have a couple of Culling Strike in your Ash deck, but not over Ramping Wolf. Well, I guess good news is they don't have... It's worth, worth it just play the Bright Steel Protector now if I'm going to be playing Sejuani next turn. Good news is they don't have Bannerman on top, I was going to say. Maybe I don't play Sejuani next turn, actually. I 
Okay, never mind. We probably do. Okay, okay, that's not bad. So we're gonna have Protector, cost one, purifies one, so we'll have three other mana, so we can have like Pilfer Goods and Warships. Okay. Hey, new loco. Good morning. Break their spirit and their soul. Smell that? A bite of cooking. It's really good to have Sejuani on the offensive, and then we can save the warning shot for the next defensive turn. We took two of their bannermans. New recruit reporting in. Dang, this is gonna be a lot of damage though. Not oh, so damn much. So those are gonna trade. So I think I'm gonna want to purify this Grizzled Ranger, right? So they don't get the other three, four back. I mean, those should just go the other way. Either way, this this protege dies. But then, yeah, like they should just go the other way. Yes, yeah, so that's my plan: is purify the ranger. Dang. You know, now, like, obviously, like, if I knew that they were going to play another four things and a single combat, I really wish I would have had Sejuani and then, you know, I would have played Sejuani instead of my other stuff and then warning shot at them this turn. You know, they're going to have all of that, though. I'll just block that thing for now. Love ya. You weren't used. Can always purify Grizzled Ranger later. I don't need to right now. All right, so we're not we're not doing too bad because we have Sejuani. Sejuani's still awesome. They knew about that from the Yordle Grifter.
Alright, not... Uh, probably a one, I guess. GG's! Alright, we got leveled up Sejuani in play. I think that was the first time for that to happen. And also our first game win. No coincidence there. GG's. That was a good win. They had a lot of good stuff. And got to fight through a lot. Alright, Maokai Nautilus. So we have Butcher on one. Raider on two. Pilfer Goods on three. And then we just have this Gangplank chilling. Seems okay. I basically, do want to replace Gangplank. Yeah, we do. But maybe I shouldn't, because like, I already have like a turn one, two, three plan. So like maybe I should be keeping the... Uh, the Gangplank. Um... Now we have Monkey Idol on three. Which is better. We'll be playing Monkey Idol on three. Mm, that card's good. Let's get to it. Thanks, Cabo. Yep, that right there, that, that link right there, Titan. Yeah, we're going to keep on trying to play to the board, so I'm going, you know, Ruthless Raider 2, Monkey Idol 3, Thrifter 4, that kind of stuff. No, Parley, I need you. I need you to kill that 2-1. What you doing, Vile Feast? What you doing? Mm. Can't stop that. See, playing Pilfer Goods is just going to make them, you know, like, we'll just enable deep for them by playing Pilfer Goods and also get them close to a Nautilus. Uh... So, like, is that worth it? Well, they'll be deep anyway. They're not the best cards to steal. So really, really bad cards to steal. If, if we had to pick out the worst cards to steal, it would be Vile Feast, Jettison, and Thorny Toad. Right? Like those are just the absolute bottom of the barrel. Unfortunately, that's all we stole. <laughs> like, are those the three worst possible cards? It may be. Didn't get a single sea monster.
So I gotta have all their devour the depths. It's like if I play if I play Sejuani, they go devour the depths. Which I guess is gonna be a 7-7. Seven, seven. trying to do the most damage I can. They're down to three cards left. I'm down to five. Only the strong survive. Pull that up. I guess I could have attacked with these two. It's not a big deal. When I dealt any damage. Four more damage. The water rises. Four more damage. And so I am the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frostbite the team. Really important with these life steals, frostbite and those life steals. I don't want to like be be greedy and wait for them to play other. Um... Be other things. All right. I didn't really get to see exactly where those are going, but I'm hoping we're doing some damage. There we go. There's one. Yes. All right. Looks like we got them. Unless they have uh, nothing. Boom. GG. The Witcher's Claw I think that that's, uh, <laughs> that's definitely a GG. I think that like, the big play that I did there that helped me win that game, that I think that not many people would have done, was the Sejuani challenge, the one health thing, and go, you know, like while the, when they were at 11 and go for as much damage as possible with that. I think a lot of people would have either tried to kill Maokai, or even just, you know, we would have been able to get rid of their 7-6 uh, Devour of the Depths. You know, we could have got rid of either one of those with Sejuani, and I think a lot of people would have done one of those lines instead of the line that I took. And I think that the, the line that I took was the way that we could win that one. So there we go, GG's. Um, it does feel like, so like our deck is, is real similar, of course, to the Misfortune Sejuani, but I feel like I kind of like the, the Misfortune Sejuani deck better, having Omenhawk, Misfortune, Fury of the North. I kind of feel like that's, you know, like it's, it's a similar deck, but I think that deck's more aggressive than ours, and um, I think I just like those cards more than, than Monkey Idol, Cutthroat. You know, Dreadway Deckhand, like that kind of stuff. I think that the... 
I don't know. Gangplank, like, like that's the thing. Is like Gangplank is you know fine and it's, it's good when it's leveled up and everything. But Misfortune, Misfortune's awesome. I don't know. Maybe, Gangplank's not that bad. I just I just like Omenhawk a lot. <laughs> I just feel like this deck needs to be playing Omenhawk. I just think it's the best one drop in the game, and that it's it's in our regions and it should just have it. I think it would make our deck a lot better. Um. But that's the thing. It's it's tough to play Omen Hawk and play Yordle Grifter. I mean, you can, but maybe. But then maybe you just don't have Ruthless Raider. Um, I guess you could probably go like nine Frail Yord cards, right? Like like if you just don't. All right. So if you don't play Ruthless Raider, I'm just also not really. I'm not that sold on Monkey Idol to be honest. Uh, but if you had Omen Hawk, and like maybe more Fury of the Norths. Like how could we how could we play Omenhawk, Fury of the North, and Sejuani for our, our Freljord cards? You'd probably not be able to play Cutthroat. And like, let's see, so then you play Hired Gun. Or maybe you play Cutthroat instead of Parlay. Maybe you're not able to play Parlay. This Misfortune is like the, the three drop you normally get to play. <laughs> yeah, this alligator is, is ridiculous. I don't, this is just my personal play style. You know, like, it, I understand it. Uh, if those of y'all playing the deck, they'd rather play the, the other version. But I'm just kind of showing what I, like, pers like, personal play style. What I would prefer. It would probably be just you know, kind of start something like this. And, and uh, uh, yeah, like, I would... And try just changing a couple of cards like that. So Ember Maiden, Ember Maiden's a little weird with like like us playing like all these other things that die to Ember Maiden. But I, we can't go too hard into Frail Yord if we want Yordle Grifter, and I think Yordle Grifter is really important because you need you really want as many Warning Shots as you can have. Sejuani plus Warning Shot is ridiculous. So Yordle Grifter is really good to have. Um, I wonder if like something just just kind of like that would be a little better. All right, but anyway, there we go. That's Gangplank Plunder. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of, uh, you know, just leave those comments. Let me know what you think of, like, this version, the first version, um, you know, anything like that. Hey, my drive, listen like a podcast? Nice. <laughs> yeah, so this, yeah, this is, this is a shark, actually. It looks, whoops, it looks like a gator. But it's a it's a shark. It's a shark with with arms. Yeah, it's a it's a cannon shark. Alright, but anyway, that's Gangplank Plunder. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.